are already battling internally just the messages that society is already sending me. So when people affirm it, it just makes it that much more heavy. I've watched TV, I've been to some of the best schools in this country, and I've received the message that I'm not as good or as talented or as intelligent as a black man. And so when I show up, I'm already feeling that because of the messages that people have sent me, but then I have microaggressions in the environment that's to where they assume that about me, and it becomes like heavy. And I had to go through my own healing because this is how I became conditioned. I became conditioned in the sense that as I got more degrees and became a doctor and so forth, everything that I was saying was always framed in the language of race. I'm doing pretty good for a black guy. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so th that's pretty good for a black guy. And then finally, somebody just said, stop saying for a black guy. James, you're doing really good as a person. And it hit me. I was like, wow. Like how freeing that is. Because race was something that was created in our country to divide people and to classify people. But it's so hard to move beyond it. And we all have become prison, prisoners of it in some form or fashion.